We are now. Shoot. All right. So thanks for being here all. Let's let's start with some shout outs. If you don't know what a shout out is, that's where uh you say thank you to someone that's done somebody nice. I have shout outs nice after I finish this boss. Oh, I have shout outs as well. Uh, yeah, I do too. Do it. Uh I'd like to shout out to uh, Air Rock for approving the uh Official screenshots for Force being allowed that I, I get to create them. It's an awesome thing. Is JG not here? I guess JG's not here. Oh, never mind. I don't, that's the only one I had. We doing promotions too? Uh, well, usually shout outs and then promotions. But yeah, you can do you can do All both. Right. Uh, it's just a shout out to Zanari, my wife. She's been my second in command. She just got promoted to ambassador. Um, she's pretty much the backbone of the team with all the spreadsheets and all the admin that she does. Um, also promoted Skybot to raid lead and uh, Gamble to range lead. Of which team? Which team? Team Dreadnought. That's, that's Legion. Oh. I don't ever hear voices. That's a good a, thing. I want to give a shout out to um, a couple of people who have been like super supportive of Cell Swords over the last week. We had a sudden uh, drop in roster unexpectedly and uh, a couple of people have just like been super helpful and supportive laura alessandra for loaning us a raider um Aroc for like giving me a uh, an application an applicant who applied to both our teams thanks man um and uh bad came in and helped us out with uh with some of our progression um a raider of alessandra's whose name i can never pronounce um, thank you um came and helped us out as well and so just to everybody who helps support other teams during difficult roster times thanks and for everybody else here in this guild who just keeps like being here and being like a positive force and a positive contributor to the community thanks so this is a great guild you, all because of all of you Aww. that's it i'd also like to do a shout out to the leadership and to the media team for your constant support, words of wisdom, and extreme patience in helping me set up stuff media related. Um, it's been a, a huge help this week. And more personally, I'd like to thank Kick for really helping me out with my pally. And House, did you make the Mythic Helper sheet? Is he here? Yeah, I'm here. And no, that was... Uh... He did the EK trainers. I did the, the trainers. Helpers. The helpers was. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah sorry, Tr trainers. That's what I meant. Trainer sheet. Yep, yep. that was his. Yeah. So thanks for setting that up because without that, I wouldn't have gotten able to get in touch with Kick. And uh, and also thanks to E Team for sticking it out and finally, after smashing our faces against the wall forever, uh, for finally getting that KJ kill. That's it. I guess I'll jump in with a few. Uh, Enter, you stepped up. She's not here tonight. She went to bed, but she's uh, helping mod on Discord. So thanks to her for that. Ariok, uh, my bro, for taking me to some Mythic Pluses. Uh, bad helped with that too, but uh, I've done a plus 15 successfully, or I was carried successfully, is what I should say. Um, also for Ayak, he has helped with Militia quite a bit. And then of course, House continues to help with Militia and continues to run Brigade, so thanks for that. And then I have uh, Leah for stepping up with social media. She's gonna be a little bit more uh, in the forefront with that. And then we're working on some banker stuff too. So some bankers stepping up. I'd like to give a shout out to Orth um, from S Team for giving us, um, with Haunty's permission, of course, the skip in Mythic Nighthold, even though we weren't able to do anything with it, uh, appreciate him coming in and giving us that. Thank you, Worth. I'd like to give a shout out to a couple of people. Um, first, um, Laura or Alice, um, who's been continuing, even though her, her um, load has increased substantially. Uh, she continues to be a strong force on the social app team and making sure um, people get taken care of as they come into the guild and um, are not lost in the shuffle, so to speak. Uh, Kendaria for taking on uh, the role of assistant sponsorship coordinator after last month's meeting. Uh, really pleased to have some help for, 
Alice. And then my last shout out, um, I, I notice sometimes discussions on Discord get a little bit emotionally charged. And there's one person who seems to always be the voice of reason, who always has something to say that's calming and suitable to the occasion, and that's Vondo. So I wanted to appreciate him. Yay, Vondo. I don't think Vondo's here tonight. He's unfortunately very under the weather, but I'll pass along your shout out. All right. Uh, um, any other shout outs? I got one. I have a uh, I... Fondo as well. Uh, he gave us a hand earlier today going through logs when he didn't have to. And he gave us a hand going through all the tank stuff. So I really appreciate him for that. I had another one and I forgot what it was. I'm tired. Um, well, uh, Nover, our, well, another shout out to Nova. He's also been extremely helpful with logs as well. Any others? It's about time to do promotions. I'll do one more. Thanks for everybody that did a shout out. Thanks for everyone that's still rating. We've had a lot of drop off uh, more than normal at the start of a tier. So those of you that are still showing up and coming to things and being part of raid teams. And if you're not part of a raid team, it's a good time to talk to some people. Um, let's do promotions though. Quite a few here. Uh, so we've got a couple people working with banking stuff. That's synth and just and bolt. They're all kind of we're all kind of talking. I had some meetings. So synth is the person that you can talk to. But he's uh, he's kind of heading up the banking stuff right now. It's kind of in flux, trying to figure out what's going on, but we're trying to come up with a better plan. Uh, and you'll hear from him in a little bit. We've also had uh, um, Alessandra is now the team lead of E Team. So she's the RE of um, Enigma. So congrats, Alessandra. And then Cosmo Storm is the team lead oh oh uh, yeah I, I, I can do this because uh timmy's not here uh timmy's rating right but uh and storm's not here either but he's the lead of harbinger team now so if you're looking for that uh tuesday early heroic team uh he's your new uh team lead to be talking to and then there's some other promotions that i will let other people do because they were uh the ones that did it so go ahead um i'd like to announce um since it just went through tonight uh promotion of uh, Farmer Phil or Fulfill or Phil, as some of everybody knows him, uh, to RE for K Team. He'll now be the new team lead for K Team with Dancing Water being his um, ambassador. So, congrats to both of those. Yes, I'm giving up K Team. Any other promotions? Uh, well, Bella already covered um, Kendaria, um, who, yes, has, has been amazing. Thank you for remi remembering that it's one in the morning and forgetting stuff. <laughs> uh, All right, let's get to the uh, the agenda. Are, well, I guess, are there any announcements, any teams that want to put anything out there? I team's always looking for good people and we've had a little bit of turnover oddly enough and we're always looking for for folks i want that unicorn of a dps warrior still can't find one but ranged and healers are always welcome and we're 6 30 to 9 30 wednesday and friday any others before we get into the uh reports okie doke so uh reports state of the guild um, progression is going well. I know there's some there's some teams uh, getting hung up a little bit on a uh, heroic uh, kill Jaden. Hopefully that hump will get over soon. And then of course pushing ahead, everybody's doing pretty well though. Um, in terms of professionalism and collaboration, there was so let me let me try to take a step back here and explain kind of the dynamic of what's going on. Like we have a ton of people in this guild, and when you log into the game. You, there's a lot that you leave behind and you know talking about like politics religion so, some of these things that like i'm sure are very near and dear to a lot of people but they're not going to be discussed in game for obvious reasons right because we have people that are way to the left we have people way to the right we have the full spectrum here and as such there's certain things images etc that if they're around they are going to invoke conversations that are non non-productive to what we're trying to accomplish as a community 
Our goal as a community is to be a place where you can log in and enjoy a video game and uh, not worry about being harassed or trolled, et cetera, et cetera, right? Um, so I just want to say, and if and those of you that know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Those of you that don't, this is just a good thing to keep in mind. Uh, we want to have it have a community atmosphere where we're not exposing religious or political views that would um, lead to any sort of conversation that would take away from the game being enjoying for other people, right? So it's it's. I'm not saying, I'm not making any statement about what you believe or don't believe. All I'm saying is, uh, we're here to play a video game. We're not here to talk about politics. We're here to play a video game and have fun and build a community with people that we probably would never ever associate with in real life. And part of the reason that works is because we're not bringing up touchy, sensitive political topics. So I just want to encourage everyone listening, if it's something that is, uh, even if it has like kind of this hidden, underhanded political message, uh, it doesn't really belong in in uh, in guild chat and Discord. Now, if you want to have those conversations one on one with people, feel free, knock yourself out. But what I'm saying is, every single night, seven days a week, we have well over 100 people on. There is no way that you're going to be able to discuss some of these topics without it being a very heated uh, display of emotion that is not going to lead to an enjoyable experience for people. So, have those private private conversations. That's awesome. Uh, work out what you believe and what you think, you know, about the metaphysics of the universe all you want. Just don't do it in guild chat because it's no good is going to come of it. Um, so I just want to remind people of that. And I know it's a little bit more, I, I teach social science, right? So I can tell you the, uh, the amount of stuff going around right now in the world, especially with U.S. politics, is a, to a much greater extent than I've ever seen since I followed it. So I know that's sometimes hard not to uh, vent some frustrations, but again, Please, please don't bring, when you log into the game, let it go, have some fun killing bosses, and let, let that, uh, those ideals, uh, you know, pick up when you log back off kind of thing. Hopefully that makes sense to everybody. But other than that, things seem to be going good. Communication with leadership is going well. Uh, one really cool announcement is we got a, a, a raid team, full tilt ahead, that came over. It was about 20 people. Some of them will end up uh, going casual. Some of them will um, end up being in raid teams. So we're trying to find a home for everyone. So if you see someone and their guild note says FTA, they're from full tilt ahead. So there's, I'm sure, a number of you listening now that came over in, in guild merges and um, you're still here. You're still enjoying yourself. So please uh, please do what people did for you and uh, make sure uh, all the FTA members uh, feel welcome and you know, kind of show them the ropes, so to speak. And I think uh, that's it for... The guild status update and then uh bell you can do the enk one if you want i don't have anything um where eternal kingdom goes goes endless kingdom so there's really nothing different to add and i will throw in that reminder and it's going to be coming up frequently and more frequently uh but we are looking at having uh all people that are on a rostered raid team in ek people that are not are going to be in enk um and then, you know, we'll have the mercenary rank and, and stuff like that for people that aren't necessarily on a roster at 18, but could still stay in EK. But that means you're playing every day. You've got gear that you're 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 spending time on your character. Um, ENK would be for, you know, people that don't want to have any sort of commitment and aren't necessarily keeping their character up. And then, of course, we got the alt guilds for the alt, uh, alts of the world. But uh, just want to remind, because I, I know there's probably a couple hundred uh, people still in the citizen rank in EK, and that is going to, at some point, uh, you're going to have to move over. We'll... Uh, We'll put it in guild chat and stuff, but just we just want to put that reminder out there. All right, moving on with justice recruitment. Um, well, welcome to the full tilt numbers who have made my life very busy uh, recently. <laughs> um, our apps have gone from like well, we were at like ten or fifteen to uh, I think thirty to forty uh, apps now recently. Uh, so again, welcome to those members. Uh, we are working through and uh, working with the team leads, or sending them messages. You know, trying to. And of course, they're communicating already with you as well. So um, other than that, I also want to tell everybody thank you again for being the uh, cool people that you are as you go out and do the pug groups and whatnot, because a lot of people say, hey, I saw this person or ran with this person, and they were like, awesome. Um, so that's why I checked out your guild. Um, also, thanks to his new Facebook post, it's also that they're coming in through that as well. So um, lots of apps coming in uh, for the teams. Uh, the only thing I'd like to say as a whole is um, reminder, if you're doing, you're interested in moving from a um, team, your current team to another team, please 
communicate with your team lead. Um, team swaps are facilitated through the team leads. Uh, there's no need to app. Um, if you leave your team, it's uh, a four week wait before you can actually app to another team. So uh, just so you're aware of that. There is a procedure in place for both team swaps and for uh, just apping. But um, other than that, I did have the new guide for team leads and Templars. I'm hoping they're enjoying that for working through um, applications. And that's about it for me. So real quick with recruitment, we do have 30 open apps right now. So I'm going to play this from two angles. If you're in leadership at all, please make sure that you're helping apps find the right team. If you're looking for a team and you're not getting the response you want, like keep sending messages to different team leads, like find a spot. Obviously, have good communication. You don't want to be on two teams trial list. That's going to obviously cause some problems. But but uh, there's a lot of teams looking right now. So if the team that you're looking for is like, hey, uh, we got you know we got 400s already. Don't be like, uh, oh, throw your hands up there and just wait for somebody to contact you. Like, keep looking because there's, I, I assure you, there's multiple teams. I'd say at least half of the teams right now uh, in the guild are looking to add uh, definitely uh, three or four members. Like, there, there's a lot of space. So, yeah, let's try to make sure we're finding everybody in the right spot, both, both sides, right, leadership and non-leadership. All right, thanks, Majestus, and thanks for all the extra work that you've had to do in the last few days. You know, uh, biggest thank is out to Fulfill and Dancing now for taking over uh, K-Team, though, because that's going to help me in the long run, so. Uh, Alessandra or Bell, I guess, if you want to cover the Guild's uh, sponsorship program and how that's going. Um, I'll take it if you don't mind, Bell. Yes, go ahead. Um. Okay, so in terms of the world of sponsorship, we did bring in nine new members uh, to the guild this month. So we are still getting quite a few uh, people interested in the guild. Um, some people already know people here, which is awesome. Um, and then of course, seeing us out in the media, which I really have to say the media team has done a great job of promoting the guild that way. Um, there's a lot of people who don't know quite how the sponsorship program works. And so I'm going to link it in general. Give me a second here. This is a post. Um, hopefully it uh, goes right to it. This is a post about the sponsorship program. If you are looking to actually sponsor someone um, for people that don't have a sponsor, uh, we also do have uh, a lot of people coming in through fun runs and through militia and things like that. So, um, you know, anyone who runs any of those, they can talk to me about anyone who is, uh, you know, repeatedly coming and showing interest in the guild and things like that. But if you're actually sponsoring someone, do you make sure that you check out this, uh, what I just linked? Uh, that way you kind of know the procedures and it can go along, you know, pretty smoothly. So. Um, also, we do have quite a few people still on the docket that we're trying to, um, you know, check into and, and get invited. And uh, it's it's adding up pretty quick. So if there is anybody interested in helping out with this, um, that would be talking to people, kind of helping them out. That would be amazing. So if you're interested in meeting a lot of really cool new people and helping out the guild with the sponsorship side, uh, come talk to me, and uh, we'll. Uh, We'll see if we can't um, get you a little bit more involved, and and that would be so so helpful for us. We'd really appreciate it. All right, thank you, uh, Alessandra. And Alessandra is doing double time now. So if there's anyone that wants to help with the social sponsorship stuff, uh, Alessandra is a team lead, so I'm sure she uh, would be open minded to others that are, uh, again, willing to put in a little bit of extra effort to sponsor people and help uh, develop that program. Uh, Zebu, are you even here? He's probably still recouping from vacation. <laughs> he's, uh, yeah, he's been. So the media stuff has been on a little bit of a hold. Um, I've talked to Shinji on and off. Um, he informed me, uh, the other day that he's looking at taking more of a serious break. So, um, I will be getting with Zebu a little bit more when he gets back and we'll kind of be mapping stuff out. So there's not much of a guild media. Oh. Uh, I forgot finances, but there's not much of a media update since we don't have Shinji or Zebu. But there is going to be a social media. I don't know if you guys noticed. Typically, uh, in the meeting, there's just a media section, 
we've actually broken that off into media and social media. So we will have an update there. But first, uh, Synth is the one who's been uh, brainstorming with me back and forth with a few other people about bank stuff. So uh, I'll let you kind of uh, let us know what's going on with the bank. And then there is a uh, there's a thing down and additional items below too that we can talk about the cell run or whatever you're looking to do. Okay, hey guys, uh, I'm Synth. Um, I've, I'm planning out a lot of things, nothing really set in stone right now. Um, basically, the main function that we're trying to get is to have repairs for all of the uh, raiders in Eternal Kingdom, and that's obviously expensive, so we need ways to pay for that. Instead of asking for donations, we're going to have different things set up, um, such as ahead of the curve runs, um, uh, GDKP runs, stuff like that. And while they're not set in stone yet, I expect them to come out within the next month or so. I'm going to Later on, I guess I'll go more in depth on that, and I'll, I have like a sign-up sheet and everything, and we'll uh, get it rocking through that. If anybody's interested um, in helping me out with any of that, like as a, a leadership position, contact either me or Zay, and we will get you uh, in the loop. And you'll see a uh, when we actually do this, the whole sign-up thing, we'll get like a front page, and we'll get Stein or Henry, hopefully, to get something up there and put it on Twitter and all that fun stuff. So... If you're checking the front page and the guild calendar, because we are going to try to coordinate and make sure we can get people coming to this, but it would be a really, really cool thing to have people help out. And if we just did the cell run once a week, I think it would maintain like 500 gold repairs for most raiders uh, indefinitely, hopefully. Um, I mean, I know some weeks maybe we won't have any Warforged cool trinkets drop, but um, if we were able to sell some gear and ahead of the curve stuff um, in, a, in a run that's, you know, supported by our members it would be super super awesome so thanks uh sent for at least starting to get that initiated and we'll see how it goes with signups and everything else but uh please spread the word any other any other thoughts on that center i guess you're going to talk about it a little bit later too yeah i'll go more in depth later on all right um so stay tuned in and then uh leah leah i can't can't, still can't say her name right. Leia. I look at it. I look at it. I know it. Like if I don't look at it, I can say it right. But when I look at it, my mind tries to read it, and I read phonetically, and then I get messed think up. Think Princess Leia. You're I good. Saying, yeah, yeah. yeah. Think Luke and Leia. Come Leia. On. So Leia is uh, a new RE for the uh, for the social media. So she's looking at getting other people involved. And we actually, for the first time, yeah, we have this help wanted post, and I was able to actually delete one of those help wanted things off of it. So hip hip hooray. And I won't steal your thunder, uh, Leia. I'll let you uh, tell us what's going on. Okay, hi, obviously I'm Leia. Um, so I've kind of been helping out with the social media stuff for a little while, um, but we have a lot of stuff going on now and a lot of plans for the future. Um, so just so you guys kind of know like who my team is, um, Daria and myself both do Facebook. Um, uh, Smexy, if you don't know Smexy, is Smexy here? Probably not. I don't um, think so. Smexy's doing Twitter, um, and Raythar is working on YouTube. Um, right now, Facebook and Twitter are our most active platforms. Uh, let me give everybody the links. It would help if I was in general. Um, but anyway. Um, we definitely need more likes and follows on here um, and sharing of different things. We do post um, we do post recruitment once a week. Uh, we post the stuff that's on the base of, uh, that's on the website, we post that as well. Um, I've actually talked to a couple of team leads and I'd like to start kind of having like a feature of the team so we kind of individually highlight people not just with their kill shots but maybe about the history of their team i think that might help with recruitment um we've actually gotten people in this guild from facebook um Arioc, i believe you were one of them um correct me mm -hmm. if i'm wrong didn't we get you from facebook i hope not i thought we got you from <laughs> <laughs> got a couple social apps from Facebook. Yeah, we've gotten a bunch of people from Facebook. So um, anyway, so that's what where we are right now um, with Facebook and Twitter. We've been based on what, what we're doing. Um, YouTube has kind of 
been defunct for a while. If you go on there, it's literally just our meetings. Um, so Raythar is in the process of putting together different things to revamp and relaunch our YouTube channel. So keep an eye out for that. There's is there a section? Sorry. There's our link to that. So there's a link to all of our. If you don't want to make a, like, if, if you don't have a Facebook or you don't want want when your personal one tied to this, you can make a player one, and then you can at least help support us by liking, following, sharing, you know, commenting. Whatever can boost our present presence out there is really helpful. Um, and then I guess my my. <laughs> One of the last things I want to talk about is I do want to get an Instagram started and I want it to be different than the platforms that we already have. Um, I don't know if the rest of you look at it, but we have some really cool screenshots that people post in our screenshot uh, chan or channel. And one of them, I can't remember her name, was, it was a super artsy picture. And I think it'd be fun to put something there besides kill shots. Um, just different ways to show things that we do in our community and that we're not just raiders. You know, we are a group of active people who do other stuff, stuff together. And I just thought it would be a different way thing to do because we obviously don't need to have the same stuff on multiple platforms, uh, especially since Instagram and Facebook link. Um, so I think my main thing is we really would like more guild participation on the social media, whether it's like linking a kill shot or sharing a recruitment post and uh, stay tuned uh, later on in the meeting because we have a contest for one of our platforms. That's it. Cool. I, so I wanted to ask, is there a, a spot in the YouTube channel for like team intro videos or something that we could submit? I'm Perhaps. working on that. So there's, okay. I'm, I, I just got all the login information on it today. So it's going to take me a little bit to kind of put together a plan. So I've, I'm hoping by the next meeting of next month, I'll have a bit more that we can kind of share. Yeah, we're okay. gonna we're gonna play around with our own team and like just do random videos, just as like, I don't know, templates or just to like samples so people can see like what some of our ideas are. Yeah, and so we'll we'll probably have an update on the YouTube next month. We're gonna try to get a little bit more momentum now that we've got some kind of full time over the social media stuff. And uh, Smexy, I should have given her a shout out. She's a uh, she's the one doing the Twitter for us, so that's awesome. And yeah, like I mean, if you guys want to post a cool picture or if you want to get more involved, like if you're like, hey, I'm like an Instagram sensation, I know what to do to get us lots of followers, and I can put all these pictures in a cool thing and add some filters or whatever. Instagram gurus do uh, talk to Leia about it, and you know we'll we'll get working in that direction. Any other thoughts, Leia? No, I mean if you have any kind of interest in helping out with this, please get in touch with me. Uh, we always are looking for people who have ideas or who want to get more involved and help us promote our community. I just want to say you guys are doing a great job. Thank you. I will say, if you guys are interested, this is Ashan. I, uh, for my time being a chef, I have a ton of experience with Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and I also did take a social media class. It was certainly geared towards hospitality, but I mean, it more or less applies to everything, really. Yeah, well, I definitely say uh, hit lay up after the meeting. You know, send her a tell right now on Discord and explore that. Yeah, and just like so, anyone, if you, if you hear something that's going on, like just right click their name message you can start talking to them right away i mean you can you can send a tell to me too but i'm most likely going to send you the the direction of the other person because i uh i don't i don't post on twitter and other things i did a few times but um it's all it's all the other people that are uh, running things for me and making me look good it's it's awesome uh you know they put up with me uh enry's not here today there's been quite a few things she's got her little uh posting that's going up um that shows all the different events um if you look at the one like if you if you have the agenda there you can click the monthly guild meetings and you can go look back for one last uh last month and you can see the document she has that shows everything that's going on but i uh, just want to remind everyone look at the guild calendar look at you know the front page you got the tarot thing going on there's all sorts of stuff going on with social events if you want to get more involved talk to her 
uh i know that we've kind of brainstormed uh me and her and um i'm sure other people send right is on on different things that we can do we might have a uh I don't know if anyone remembers when we were putting people in the stockade where you could, like it was like a fundraiser for the guild and you could stockade people and they could pay to get out and then you'd get put in and it was uh it was fun for a week and then everyone was complaining that they couldn't stockade people anymore after the week was over but we might bring something like that back for a week when obviously not in the middle of where everyone's trying to progressive raid hopefully like towards the end of a tier maybe next year or something but um so if you have ideas send them in his way i don't know if there's anyone that uh is doing the uh guild event stuff with any that wants to share anything that's me. Uh <laughs> Actually, I'm going to be getting Enri a date here very shortly for the achievement run. So look for that from her uh, here very soon. This is Jess, by the way. If anybody didn't. Oh, oh, Leah. Yeah, you were, you were. She said that you were going to say stuff for us. So I'm sorry. I no, still... she, you said everything she sent me. I think so. Hold on, hold on. Um, I'm sorry, I wasn't prepared. Um. Oh, you want me to go over what she she sent you to? Oh, anything I missed. Oh, I, I know something I missed. Um, on the front web page now, on the front of the web page, like where you see the kill shots and everything, if you mouse over uh, the about, you'd see guild events. So there's like a new front page banner uh, link to stuff. Um, okay, so did we go over the tarot run? No. Uh, go ahead. It's okay. on the front page. Yeah. But... Yeah. The new Terra run. Um, Terra was has come back to our guild. He was a member previously, um, and he he's the run. It's the run that Henry posted earlier today in Discord. Um, it's just another Friday night run. Um, also, the heroic TOS Sunday run is canceled until further notice, and. That's about it. There are no other major updates. Um, and just be sure that you check out the calendar in the game and on the website. Um, that will give you a lot of the information. I know sometimes we're human and we make errors, but uh, most things are on there. If you have any questions, let us know. Anyone who's looking for the date for the next Guild Seed Party, that's going to be August 19th. So let me know if you intend on coming to that mark your calendars for it again it's jess yeah jess has been making some feasts for the different teams we're we're uh actually i need to get with jess and reimburse her from funds but each team gets uh, i'm up to 400 of them right by the way 10 Ooh. 10 feasts a week so uh that's that's in the uh i don't know we need to make, and we need to get together the bankers and, and make a post somewhere but Thank you for doing that. And yeah, seed parties and other stuff going on. Guild events, check your calendar. All right, I think we're good to go on to the next uh, next thing, yeah? Sidebar announcement. All right, so this is something that I realized some people didn't know, um, and I've had some questions, so I'm just going to try to explain this. And then if you have questions or something's not clear, I have discussion. We're not going to like discuss other ways to do this. This isn't like an open forum thing. It's just if you have questions or aren't, aren't sure from my explanation, you're welcome to ask. So we have a sidebar and it's like kind of our internal wild wow progress. And we don't update it necessarily every day. We update it like once a week. Like usually I, I uh, go up and I, I go in and I update the, like the wild wow progress, like our profile in wild wow progress. And then Zboot will update the sidebar. So basically that sidebar, it follows exactly wild wow progress. So we've had all sorts of debates in the past about, well, if a team kills a boss but doesn't kill it before but they killed they, they killed it with less pulls or like we've had all these different criteria on how to rank a team on the sidebar i'm talking about the homepage sidebar that has the recruitment it's like that widget um that's i think there's 13 of them right for the different teams so that goes strictly off wow progress and um what we've what we've decided is uh for mythic teams you need to show heroic bosses until you've cleared heroic for heroic teams, you need to show normal bosses until you've cleared normal, just so it's it's clear where you're at. And I mean, if you mouse over a guild on WoW progress, it shows the exact same thing. So we're really trying to make it, it mere WoW progress. Um, and then we aren't necessarily going to update it every single day just because of uh, sometimes there's a lot of boss kills going on. It would just be uh, too much of a pain. So uh, obviously WoW progress is automated, right? We don't have an automated thing on the sidebar, although maybe someone will code for it someday uh but so it gets updated once a week ish 
and it's going to follow while progress. The only other thing, the only other caveat to that is uh, at the beginning of a new tier, for the first two-ish Mythic weeks, I mean, it might be you know a little bit before or after, but typically speaking, it's going to be about two weeks in Mythic, and then the ranks will go in. And we do that because there's some teams that rate a little bit extra. There's some teams uh, that rate a lot extra, but um, just to kind of let teams have where they were previous tier it's two weeks of progression we did this i don't know if people were following some people were some people weren't but uh if your team didn't change rank that's why we give it about two weeks and then we'll we'll change it so is there any questions about how that works sweet groovy hopefully uh you guys can all watch the sidebar and i think so the idea is it's friendly competition right like we want to score the most points but we're all on the same team and you pass the basketball to your teammate to make the shot um but it is kind of like, I mean, we're, we're bigger than a lot of servers. Just our guild is bigger than a lot of servers out there in terms of progression and what we're doing. And so it's kind of like our own internal server, cool thing to kind of watch and root for people um, and see what other teams are doing. Next, uh, banking run, Synth. All right, I just think something in general. Um, it is a sign-up list for anybody that is experienced and willing to help out. Obviously, it's not just uh, show up, help us, and you get nothing. Um, if we, for example, sell in ahead of the curve run for 500k, which is lowballing it a little bit, um, the 250k would be split between everybody in the run, and the other half would go directly to helping for repairs. As well, I know that um, a couple people do like Mythic Plus sales. We can also get groups of those together to do that. Um, do GDKP runs. If you're interested in that, you can also fill in the sign-in. Just specify that in the, the little notes thing on the side. Um, and just filling that out all together will give me a good idea of how many people are really willing to help out. So are you going to have a time announcement? You're just kind of trying to find volunteers right now to see how many you got. Um, preferably later on in the afternoon when people are off work. Um, but it'll really depend on how many people sign up. If everybody that signs up is good on Friday, obviously would you like Friday? But if everybody's not good, we have to figure out who has a consistent schedule so that we can get that group together. All right, so make sure you type in. I mean, you can see on the spreadsheet it has available times. So uh, make sure you throw in your availability there so you guys can get something together. And like I said, this is going to get some front page treatment um, at some point in the week, upcoming weeks anyway. So please feel free to fill it out now, though. Anything else any, on that? Uh, no, if you, have any, if you have any questions about it, um whether it be how you're going to get paid, that kind of stuff, just message me and I'll be happy to answer any questions for you. Groovy, and thanks for doing that. That's, this is something I'd really like to see take off because, uh, I mean, it's kind of a bummer we don't have guild repairs and we've had some different ways to do it in the past, but um, I don't know. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we have some people here that are willing to uh, make some money and do something good for the guild at the same time. Hopefully it's a, it's a win-win. All right, next thing up is, uh, this is kind of a like a little bit of a... Uh, Maybe it doesn't be made quite yet, but we have talked about for a long time uh, going and doing other games. And WoW won't be around forever, forever, right? Eventually, we're going to have to port to a different community uh, game, etc. So Karias came to me and talked to me a little bit about doing Destiny 2. Now, Destiny 2, uh, it is part of the Activision Blizzard umbrella, so it is going to be on Real ID. Just so, so like when you can see uh, people on Overwatch and stuff like that. Um, and the reason we haven't really pushed for Overwatch in some of these other um, games is because there's no real guild structure there that, you know, there's people that play in the guild, but we haven't really tried to get a guild structure going. So basically what's going to happen when Destiny 2 comes out, I will buy it, I will create a guild over there, and the people that are interested, um, and I'm not going to go like hardcore or anything, I'm not, I'm not a, uh, <laughs> I'm a family man, I, I'm going to have to figure out how to, how to play and get leveled up, but I know there is a contingent of people that might be interested in that, um, obviously we want to be careful not to pull people away from raid teams and create roster problems. So, I mean, we're, we're going to like kind of take it a, a day at a time, but you can talk to myself or Karias. Wait, Karias, are you here? No, I, th I think Force I, will have a team over there. Yeah. So, I mean, I talked to him. I think he told me he was going to be gone, um, which is why I just charged in here. So, um, we're going to try to actually have like an eternal kingdom group over there and, um, try to have some fun with it whether it's a game that lasts for a couple months and then kind of disappears or whether it's something that 
you know, eventually grows to maybe even be larger than our, our well community. I don't know. It's just going to be kind of your time what we want to make of it. But this is the first time we've done this in our almost four years of existence. So it's definitely going to be like a trial thing for us. So don't get your hopes up. Don't get, uh, you know, bombed if things don't work out and don't get too, oh my gosh, this is going to kill our community or anything like that. It's just, we're trying to let you guys know ahead of time. Um, we're going to try to do something in the Destiny 2 realm and you'll still have battle tags to talk to each other and stuff. And that's part of the big draws that we'll actually be able to still talk to each other while we're playing Destiny 2. So um, keep keep your uh, your eyes and ears open for that. Um, how big of a deal we make it, like if we're going to do front page and whatever else, I don't know. But if you do want to uh, find out more about it, you can send me or Cryos or I guess Ariox, Ariox throwing his head in on that one too. So uh, you can talk to us. All right, uh, the next one, I don't think Vex is here either, is he? No. These, these people that had ideas, I'm like, hey, can you come to the guild meeting and talk about it? And they, uh, they don't want you. So Vexa, and I don't know how many of you guys know about it, there's a Mythic Plus competition, and Vexa is looking to put together an EK team. I know there's some other people. I know there's, I hear people that run like 22 keys and stuff like that. So if you're interested in doing crazy high keys in a uh, competition and representing eternal kingdom you can talk to vexa who is on o team is there anyone else that's like been thinking they're going to do a team because i mean we could probably have more than one Hello. but <laughs> so station is another person you can talk to if you're interested in um doing something with the mythic plus competition actually i don't know i don't know anything about it other than that it's out there does someone want to fill on details on when it's happening and and like how it works uh, it's ending this week, um, but the next one I believe is in what a month. I think it's it's yeah five to six weeks, and that's uh, go around. So if you're interested, um, you can talk to F teamers. They will be able to try to help you out. But I would love to see our EK rank beyond the Mythic Plus competition thing. I think it'd be a sweet, awesome thing to do. Last but not least. Leia, did I say your name right? Yeah. I'm talking a lot tonight, guys. Sorry. Although Raythar will say that's part of the course. I'm uh, saying nothing. You never uh, have to apologize for talking too much. You don't talk too much. You talk just the right amount. You oh, don't I read with her. Thanks. That's what Haunty tells me all the time, too. That is never <laughs> what I say to you, Zay. <laughs> if she tells me that, she's Anybody's lying. ever said that. <laughs> uh, so that's okay. myself. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. So we're having, we're going to have a contest um, to try to get, we want to get our, uh, oh my gosh, I guess it's follows up on Twitter. Um, so Zate has donated 50,000 gold. So it, all you have to do is, let me link, I'll put the link in. Um, go to this link. There's a couple different ways that you can get entered. Um, make sure you use your in-game name for the first name so we can locate you. Um, and so you can, what is it? It's follow, tweet, and retweet, right? Right? Yeah, so it's okay. it's follow us, uh, tweet about us, and retweet something that we've already posted. And it runs for a week, so Friday of next week it ends. So it's one of those, if anybody has seen those woo boxes and some of those things, like when you sign up and just say, hey, watch this on YouTube or do this, that's what this is. So that's how, and so I'm not actually picking anything, they're gonna pick the winner. So that's it. So if you need repair gold, which I know I do, <laughs> go ahead and do that. Can I win my own gold if I tweet? You can sure. keep it, yes. Okay, but you have to I'm use your own account. Man. You can't I'm use not... your wife's you can't use your wife's account like you did for Facebook. Yeah, I don't own a Facebook or a Twitter <laughs> or a Instagram. So go do that right now. Take my gold away from me. Hey, can I add one thing real quick? Yes. So um, I reposted it because somebody had said something about it. Um, in the general channel, the Mythic Helper spreadsheet, um, it's for anybody that's got an alt or not on a Mythic team uh, that would be available to help a Mythic team when they're shorthanded. Uh, it needs updating for those that have been on it previously and uh, anybody that would like to be added to it go in and fill it out add some uh, rows to it it's fine um but yeah so the teams go in it's pinned in everyone's uh, in each of the team channels so if they ever need help uh, they're going to go to the spreadsheet and look at it so 
uh, please go in, um, especially if you're on there already, update your information for TOS so that uh, teams know if you have uh, knowledge for that, please. Cool, thank you. Uh, any other team lead, ambassador, anyone got anything to say? We have come to the end of our, uh, at least our scheduled stuff. Gravy. Well, thanks for being here, everybody. 46 minutes of meeting time. That's not too bad, I guess. It's a record. It's just the right amount of talking for me. Everybody else talked to <laughs> no. Thanks, Thanks, guys, for being here. Um, look forward to some of the things coming up. And I uh, always want to encourage you to get involved. The number one thing that limits how we can grow and how healthy we are and how awesome things are for everybody is the amount of people involved in leadership and have cool ideas. It's not even, it's not even leadership. It's ideas and people just willing to make make the guild better right so uh anyone that's talked tonight feel free to hit them up um other than that we can uh stop the recording and we'll see you guys next month